Will Juventus sweep the Blues aside or will Chelsea take the spoils back to West London? Watch until the end of this preview to hear all of my thoughts on tomorrow's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my preview for the match that will be taking place tomorrow evening at the Juventus Stadium in the UEFA Champions League group stage between Juventus and Chelsea with kickoff at 8pm UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly, I'll be giving you guys the Chelsea team news and only the Chelsea team news because that's just how I do things nowadays on my channel, of course. I'll then be giving you guys my lineup based on the team news in which I shall be giving you guys shortly. And lastly, we'll wrap this review up by talking about my score prediction. So without further ado, let's get straight into this preview. Let's do it. Alright, we shall begin this preview by taking a look at the team news that concerns the Chelsea first team. And before I dive into it, I'm just going to say that it's a whole load of bad news. But um, let's get straight into it. There's only one piece of, sorry, there's only one piece of information for you in regards to the Chelsea first team. And it concerns N'Golo Kante, Mason Mount, Christian Pulisic and Rhys James and... This story explains that all four of them are out for different reasons. Angolo can sorry, Angolo Kante is out with the COVID nineteen virus, um, so he's obviously going to have to isolate for ten days. Um, that's just <laughs> that one speaks for itself. Um, Mason Mount is out with a knock, and both Christian Pulisic and Rhys James are out with ankle injuries. Um, I'm not entirely sure how long Christian Pulisic is going to be out for. Um, he's been out for ages now. Has he even played a minute this season? I'm not even sure if he's played a minute this season. Um, Rhys James, I'm not not sure how long he's going to be out for as well. Um, the same with Mason Mount. It's all up in smoke just now. Um, or, or perhaps more accurately, is is all up in the air right now. I do not know too much about the extent of the damage that have been dealt to the players in regards to the piece of information that I've just given you, but it's not good news. Um, fingers crossed they're able to recover soon. That's all I can say, but yes, that is it for the team news concerning the Chelsea first team. I'll say it again, it's just a whole load of bad news and it just makes things that little bit harder for us in terms of actually choosing a lineup, but that will be coming next. We shall move on. Now we dive into my lineup, and as always, we begin this section by talking about the formation that I have decided to go with. And as you guys can probably expect, by now I have chosen to go with a 343 slash 3421. And I definitely believe that this is the formation we should be going with after the Manchester City game where we used a 3-5-2 and it's safe to say that it did not work. Um, so I think that it would be a safer bet to go with what the players are actually more used to. Yes, the systems aren't too dissimilar, but um, it's just the way we played, I guess. But um, I think it's... I think it makes more sense for us to go over 3-4-3 three, three because like I've just said, the players are more used to that formation. They haven't really a lot of the players haven't really played in a 3-5-2 since the Antonio Conte era, which was a long time ago now. I can't believe it. But yes, that's why I've chosen to go with a 343 slash 3421. In terms of the personnel that I've gone with, I've gone with Edouard Mendy in goal because He wasn't at fault for the goal against Manchester City. Definitely not. I actually felt as though he was he was our best player on Saturday. Um, but it's a big game, so I think that Edouard Mendy should be playing. And that's no disrespect to Kepa at all. He's a great keeper. He's been proving himself really well. 
I just think that Edouard Mendy should be in the sticks for this one. I've gone with Cesar Aspilicueta at right centre-back because of his leadership qualities and his experience um, in defence and in different areas of the defence, might I add. Um, and against a strong Juventus side, that is going to be much needed. I've gone with Thiago, Sil sorry, I've gone with Thiago Silva in the centre of the back three because he is um, full of experience. He's... He's been playing at, at the top level for many years now. I, I can't even tell you how long his career has been. It's been that long. But um, he 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 really does deserve to be in the centre of that back three for this reason. And at the left, in, sorry, in the left centre back position, I've gone with Antonio Rudiger because he's been putting in some solid performances this season. Yes, he wasn't at his best, far from it, against Manchester City. He got he got um out he got overrun. In, in that game, I have to say, but I do believe that he does deserve to play because he, like I've just said, he has been putting in some strong performances this season and he has been chipping in um, offensively as well, which is something that is always good. But yes, that's the back three that I've gone with. In terms of the midfield four, um, at right wing back, there's only one option because um, Cesar Aspilicueta's um, in my lineup at right centre back, and that is Callum Hudson Odoi. Um, he has um, he has a big game on his hands if he plays tomorrow because um, Juventus, I'll say it again, are a strong side. But yes, I've gone with Callum Hudson Odoi at right wing back, and I do believe that um, not only will this help him defensively, I do believe that he'll be able to get into dangerous positions um, really well. Especially if um, if if we're attacking down our right hand side, but yes, I've gone with Callum Hudson Odoi in the right wing back position. I've gone with a central midfield pairing of Matteo Kovacic and Jorginho. Um, we don't really have too many midfield options just now um, because two of our key midfielders are out um, due to illness and injury: Engolo Kante and Mason Mount. Um, and I do believe that them two have. Sorry, those two have a great understanding of each other and both of them have played in Italy in the past and against the strong Juventus side, I believe that um, the very fact that, that, sorry, I believe that the very fact that they've both played in Italy before they came to Chelsea um, could play a massive part in helping us get, a, get, sorry, it could help us get a good result. It just depends on how we play. Um, and it especially depends on how they play because obviously the midfield is one of the most crucial areas on the pitch. But yes, that's the central midfield pairing that I've gone with. I've gone with Marcos Alonso at left wing back because he's been one of our best players this season, if you ask me. Um, yes, he wasn't at his best against Manchester City. And I'll just say it now, not a lot of our players came out of that game um, with any positives to talk about because it really wasn't a good performance from the team at all. Um, but Marcos Alonso does deserve to play because he has been playing some good stuff this season so far. He has been chipping in with goals and assists as well. So um, it would be nice if we can do the same tomorrow. And on top of that, he's another player in our squad that has played in Italy in the past. So he will know Juventus fairly well. Um, it was a while since he was last in Italy um, playing for Fiorentina. But um, he does know Juventus, so I'm expecting him to turn up. And I've gone with a front three of Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz because um, the impact he had when he came on against Manchester City is something that should have been um, present at half-time, if not the entire match, if I'm not um, lying to you. Because um, while we did have the better opportunities in the first half of the game against Manchester City... I did feel as though in the second half we got forced back so much that we lacked an, that sorry in in the second half I felt as though we got forced back so much that um we didn't have anyone in that midfield who can link the midfield with the attack and that caused our two strikers to get isolated and that is something that just cannot happen against Juventus tomorrow evening um so that's why I've gone with Kai Havertz in there I'm not only that um, the front three can move around and ensure that we don't get outnumbered in midfield because Juventus do like to play 
with a back four. Um, I believe they play in a 4-3-3. I'll need to double check this, but they do like to use a back four. And I do believe that Havertz needs to be in there to support the two strikers. And of course, I've had to go with Romelu Lukaku up top because this is a big game. He knows Juventus um, really well. He's just he's not long um, departed from Inter Milan, where he of course won the title last season, um, the Scudetto to be precise. So he should be playing this one. There's no two ways about it. I don't even need to say anything else. And I've gone with Timo Werner in the left forward position because um, he'll bring something different. Um, he'll bring some pace. He'll bring some um, quick movement. Like I've just said, he'll bring um, he'll bring um, the ability to play off the off the last defender, and he will bring the ability to um, get in behind with his speed. Like I've just said already. Um, basically, Timo Werner is just speed, and I do believe that that is something that we're going to need tomorrow because if we don't pass the ball around quickly, then Juventus will be able to basically defend our attacks really easily. Um, if we get anywhere near their box, if that if if we get anywhere near that box, of course. But anyways, that is the lineup that I've gone with. I'm going to recap because I've done a lot of talking, and I do apologize. I do digress. Um, three four three, in terms of the formation, Edouard Mendy and goal, a back three of Cesar Aspilicueta, Thiago Silva, and Antonio Rudiger, a midfield four including the two wing backs from right to left of Callum Hudson Odoi, Jorginho, Matteo Kovacic, and Marcos Alonso, and a front three from right to left of Kai Havertz, Romelu Lukaku, and Timo Werner. So that is the lineup that I've chosen to go with. Please, guys, do drop your lineups in the comment section below, and as always. I shall do my very best to respond, but here is a graphic showing you guys the formation that I've chosen and the players that I've chosen for my lineup. Now we wrap up this review by getting into my score prediction. <sighs> Honestly, guys, this one is so hard to predict because... Um, I know for a fact that there are a lot of Chelsea fans out there who are not feeling too confident going into this game because of the way we lost to Manchester City last Saturday and I know for a fact that there are some Juventus out sorry there are some Juventus fans out there who are probably saying the same thing about Juventus um going into this game. Um I'm not going to lie to you guys, I do believe we can win. It's obviously going to be very difficult because the Allianz Stadium or the Juventus Stadium, whichever whichever one you want to call it, is never an easy place to go to. I don't care about their form in the league this season so far. They're still one of the best sides in Europe, um, hands down. And for that reason, or for these reasons rather, I have chosen to go with a 1-1 draw. Yes, um... I do. Be, I'll say it again. I do believe we can win. We just have to turn up, though. I expect, um, I expect us to be angry at the way we lost against Manchester City. That is the least I expect, honestly, guys. That is the least I expect. But yes, I've gone with a one-one draw just to keep things safe. I'll say it again. I do believe we can win, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say we're gonna win. We're gonna beat Juventus convincingly because. Um, we just never know. But that's why I've gone over 1-1 draw. Please, guys, do drop your score predictions in the comment section below. And as always, I shall do my very best to respond. That is it for this preview. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on, you blues. Come on, Thomas Tuchel. Let's get the win at the Aventus Stadium. And peace. Come on, Chelsea.